Hey there, it's Jeremiah with Severin Web Studio. Hey, were you wondering if Weebly is the right answer for your website builder? Are you thinking about building Weebly website yourself? Are you looking to maybe hire somebody to do Weebly web design? Um, I'm going to tell you the things that I found that made me a bit skeptical about how good Weebly is for businesses to use. Uh, so in this video we're going to break down uh, kind of who Weebly is best for, uh, if you should use Weebly, uh, and the things to watch out for if you're looking to use Weebly. So let's get into it here. So this is Weebly.com uh, and you can see e-commerce by Square. Square acquired Weebly about a year ago, maybe more. I think it was 2019. Um, and since then, there's been some changes uh, over at Weebly. So the first thing that you notice is that they want to they want to be your website for your business to grow. Uh, so I think they're mainly targeting people who are just getting started in the business. Um, if you're going at this entry level, then their pricing really affords uh, to be looked at because you can use it for free if you're really, you know, just starting out or $6 a month up to $9 a month if you pay monthly. Um, you know, it can get the job done if this is your first website and you're looking to do it all yourself, save time, money. Uh, you, may, you may not save time, you're going to save money because you have more time than you would if you were to outsource it or have it built on another platform. Um, so the main thing that Weebly has going for it is if we go here to the this is the builder in Weebly so once you sign up this is a builder that you use to build your pages and they have some templates their templates are not super great um, I feel that some of their templates are lacking it, it seems like they haven't updated their templates in a while um, versus someone like Squarespace where all their templates look really nice or really well thought out um, and you can definitely dive off from one of those and they're constantly updating them um, so uh, for building the site quickly Weebly has a disadvantage because there's going to be less pages or less templates to choose from that'll kind of give you that head start versus um, something like Squarespace where they're going to have a huge head start for you because they have a lot of pre-made templates now the thing that Weebly has going for it is it's really easy to just drag and drop in you know like you want to have a little subtitle here then you can drag that in and you can easily go in here and say, you know, subtitle. And then you can change the, the size here, which I do have a gripe about the changing sizes is you can't say which heading you want. And now it's not even going to, there we go. So as you can see, it just grows and shrinks. You don't know if it's a heading one, if it's a heading two, a heading three. Um, but where it does win is that you just easily you can just see what you're getting over here drag it in here um, you know if you want to have a button here you just drag the button in so it's really easy to use in that sense um, versus some other builders are not quite as intuitive as this is um, and the thing that really uh, scares me about Weebly and that I kind of don't really uh, suggest Weebly for this reason is that their app store is not very desirable. Um, they, the apps that are available in here, some of them are free, some of them are freemium, so you have a free version of it. Um, but a lot of them are very basic things that should just be included, even if you have to pay for them, like a social media, um, you know, an Instagram feed. If you don't want the name of the, the plugin that is doing it, you have to pay a monthly fee for that, I and mean, that's just outrageous. Um, and a lot of other ones are just not rated super high uh, and then they recently announced that they would no longer be uh, accepting app uh, submissions to their Weebly app store meaning if you're a developer or any developer that is building apps for Weebly uh, they no longer have a place to put them on the Weebly uh, app store, the app center uh, so they did this, they announced this on uh, January 29th of 2020, and then on February 28th, 2020, they shut the doors and said they are no longer accepting apps. 
And the reason is, is that they were acquired by Square. Okay, 2018, they were acquired by Square. And they've been tar partnering together to see how we can better integrate product solutions. Um, so they're dedicating their resources to what the future of e-commerce apps may look like with Square. And we'll be sharing more information later this year. Now, what this tells me is that Square is coming along and just gutting the things that they want from Weebly and moving that into the Square ecosystem. Um, and so if you go in and see the comparison between the Square App Marketplace and the Weebly App Center, very different environments going on there. Um, the customer base is quite a bit different as well. Um, so let's just go ahead really quickly. So um, this is their discussion board for the online Square store. Um, this is where a lot of action is happening. So you can see here, um, this is where they're trying to collect, where Square is trying to collect ideas to improve their online store. Now, the thing is, is that this doesn't improve Weebly stores. This only improves Square stores. And it seems that there are some forks in the code. So, you know, the Weebly store is a little bit different than the, the Square store and the way that they interact with your website. Uh, can be a little bit different and tricky. So you can see there's lots of replies here that they're adding to the back burner. I'll link this up below. Um, and then also, so let's just look at, you know, the Square developer documentation is really uh, robust and uh, they have a lot of options here. And so I do think that Square is going to do a lot of good things with uh, this new, with this hardware, with the software and the ideas coming from Weebly. I just feel that right now Weebly is kind of on the downward trend and unless you're already using Square, I wouldn't suggest using Square to build your online store. So what do I mean by that? If you already have a uh, business that is using Square, the Square card reader, if you are familiar with the Square Up dashboard where you can check and see your reports and your transactions and where you can you know manage your items where you're managing inventory, uh, whether using the Square app and using the dongle or using a Square payments uh, station, that then if you're using that already, I would highly suggest you look at having strictly your shop on Square's online store platform. And so what I mean by that is on squareup.com, they have this section here for online store. It's also down here once uh, the COVID-19 is over. So you got online store here, and this will walk you through to set up an online store. So we'll just show you really quick, um, as far as using Square, you um, wait for this thing to load. Um, but it, so as you can see, Square and Weebly kind of have a, a mess going on right now. And so what we need to think about when you're deciding to have your website built is what is going to be the longevity of your website. Um, are you looking to have more custom solutions, like something you would find in WordPress? Do you need uh, you know, a beautiful website that's well designed and easy to maintain using Squarespace for the web presence, for the home page, sales pages? Uh, if you have services, Squarespace is really great for that. If you have uh, just a few products that you're looking to sell online or have an online store where people are looking to order, uh, you know, locally order food delivery, uh, local pickup, then you want to use Square Up online store and you can just have store or shop.yourbusiness.com and have that linking to the Square Up store and then you have your main website living on a WordPress uh, server or li living on a Squarespace server or Wix or whatever you're, you're choosing is there. Um, I would just I would just avoid Weebly because I had I fear that they are they're not putting any product development in there, so you're not getting any new features. And at a certain point, you're gonna say, "Hey, now I need to have my website rebuilt, or I need to rebuild my website." And I don't want to do that. I mean, you don't want to have to go through the hassle of building your website all over again uh, if you don't have to. Um, I know because I've done it like three times now, three four times I've rebuilt my website. I mean, it's just because there is a specific use case scenario for each business and unless you really know 
uh, what it is that you're wanting to get out of your website, then it's hard to know what platform is the best. So back to uh, doing Square, if you if you already have a Square payments system, then you can use the checkout links if you want to just uh, you know share links via email, text, and social media. But I would suggest this single shopping page. Um, this is best for yeah, as they say, simple, fast online sales. I would not do the full website and online store just because you're not going to have a lot of templates to choose from. It's not going to be uh, very robust in the website portion of it in the way that you could customize. Um, it just won't be. Uh, I, I don't recommend it. Uh, so, with all that being said, um, there are some good resources for Weebly if you're going to use Weebly and you're going to DIY it. If you say, hey, I'm not really looking to sell anything or I'm only looking to sell a couple things. This is kind of just a hobby. I'm not really sure where it's going to take off. I have more time than money right now. So I'm willing to uh, you know, build this out and just play with Weebly. You know, Maybe this looks more intuitive to you than uh, Squarespace does. Um, look up some tutorials on Squarespace and Weebly and see which one looks more intuitive to you. To me, Weebly is very intuitive. They have everything over here um, and you can easily just click and change everything out. So if you need just something super simple, you know, you want to get something up in a couple days, then I would suggest Weebly or Squarespace or Wix, one of those. Um, I would suggest erring towards the side of Squarespace and Wix. Uh, Weebly would be a last resort if you really can't afford a monthly uh, service fee, uh, hosting fee, then you know Weebly is an okay solution in that use case scenario. Otherwise, uh, I hope this was helpful. Let me know if you have any questions down below. Uh, be sure to like this if you found it helpful. And if you want more videos like this where I discuss things about website builders, building businesses online, subscribe. And uh, we'll see you next time.